Hey guys, welcome back to a brand new Minecraft video. Now today, so let me first show you this. There are lasers. Now, if I walk into this, I will die. But, darn it! Hold up. If I jump over the laser, I will make it. Now you actually have to... <laughs> It's actually kind of hard to do this. Darn it! Okay, Whew. let's. I'm trying to do it without sprinting. So do you see? Oh, darn it! Okay, it's actually pretty hard, pretty accurate. But, so, there's this laser, and then I made another laser. Oh my gosh! Oh yeah, got the way, by the way, guys, RIP old testing world. It has been destroyed. I, darn it. Okay. It's hard to do it without sprinting. Now we need a duck under this one. And we made it! Yay! How exactly did I do this? Well, happy you asked. The slash particle command. Wait, where is it? Oh, <laughs> it just made a laser up here. I mean, this one doesn't actually work because it doesn't have the kill command. So, let me show you exactly how this command works. So, first of all... We should grab a command lock. I'll empty this. And we can do particle. Then let's just do mm, what's a good one? Can't find cozy smoke. Actually signal smoke. Then then you do your coordinates. Then, now this one is actually your size. So, 111 is going to do a cube. So, if, if it's starting here, then 111 is 111. Why is this still he here? Wait, what? Oh, I didn't save! Darn it! Ugh. So, 111 would be a, so it's saying it's starting here, then it's going one this way, one this way, one this way, and one this way, which creates a cube like this, right? Now, if we put a negative in there, it would, like, go, let's say we did, well, I'll show you just a second. Now you do your speed. Um, this one doesn't really matter all that much. You do your count. This, this is how many particles you want to have. So if you just put one, I'll show you what happens. Oh. Oh, wait. Shoot. Um. I think I messed up. Oh, wait. No, this is. Sorry. Zero, zero, one. Let's do Sorry, this is in both directions, so it's all over here. Now this particle shoots out. Not the best particle. Let let's do. Let's do barrier. You can see it goes this way. Um, if we do that, because we put one zero zero. And so it goes one block in each direction. So starting here, one block. Starting here, one block. Now it's more like 1.5 blocks because it actually starts in the middle of the command block. So what you probably want to do is just do 0 0.5 if you want like an actual precise one block. You see, now it's more of one block. It's a little bit off. But I mean, that's the best this can do. Um, oh, look at that. It creates, like, a laser. 
Okay, well, so, I put one. Now, these, I'm pretty sure, this actually might be one second. I don't know if it's ticks, though. It might be ticks. One tick. Possibly. I don't know. Now, you can see if I just, if I wait for these to disappear, and then I activate it once, it'll only do one on a random spot on that thing. So, but then if I do, let's say, two, wait for this one to disappear, two on random spots, and it just keeps going up from there. Now, the more you add, the laggier it will get. If you do, like, 100, I mean, it... <laughs> so this is one of the laggier particles. I'm just going to stick with 50. No, not 500. 50. But now you can see I created a weird red thing. What is this? It's just a red line. It's like a laser. I kind of want to make a laser. But I guess it's just a red line for now. Okay, well. Anyways. Um. But the cool thing is, you can actually spread this out. So I could do 10, which is 10 in each direction. Then 10... Then 10, and you'll see the sky will fill with barriers in a 10 by 10 by, or in a 20 by 20 by 20 radius. Now, they'll disappear if you get too far away from them. But because we have 500 and these take up so much space, that's basically what happens. Now, there's a few other particles. I'm going to do... You, ah, did they seriously change it? Okay. Explosion. explosion a meter Oh! 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 Oh, it's literally like, like, oh. <laughs> If we just added play sound, it would literally, like, I mean... Minecraft, Minecraft, colon, huge, uh, I don't know what it's called, TNT, explosion, I don't know, okay, I can, like, figure that out later. Oh, but imagine this as, like, something exploding. Okay, where is this stupid command block? Okay, right there. There we go. Now, so for this, it's a little different. You'll see I did the normal thing, except for in the beginning, I did some different stuff. Let me cover that. So, I'll just delete some of this. Dust, right? Now, I'll give you an error. That's because, so, let me just do something. By the way, that second part you can leave out if you just want it there. Oh, wait, I meant, I meant, no! This should be 0.5 blocks above the command block. You can see it's a weird, it's kind of ugly, in fact. Let's just change this to a 0, and you'll see that it will change to a nice shade of blue. Okay, so how does this work? Let me explain. This, this final number is the size. You can see if we turn this down. The whole thing goes down a ton in size. Um, 
this is actually, so these first three are actually certain colors. I'm pretty sure this final one is black. No, it's blue. Is it black or is it blue? Okay, well, let's see. I think this is blue. Now, you can see the higher the number we add, the more grains there is. If you only put one, it's only going to be like a nice blue color. But if you put... Now, I don't know if this is... Oh, shoot, no. I don't know if it actually goes up to this. I think it only goes up to 10. But just in case, we'll try 20. You can see it gets like a darker and a lighter. It just adds more variance to the colors. So, if you, what if, would happen if you did 0 0.5? I wonder. Oh, it's just a dark blue. And if you did 0 0.1? It's a really dark blue, that's like almost black. And if you did 0 0.9? It becomes a super light blue. Okay, so I guess you can use decimals, too. Now, if you do none of these, it'll just turn black. Because there's no color, and so it just turns black. Um, this one is red. This is the one I actually used. I, I used this exact thing, except for I did it on a larger scale. So I just did this. Um, like 100, and you can see it does this. Now, I don't think the force or normal really matters. And then literally all I did was for this, I just um, put like the distance. I might actually do a tutorial on the distance um, entity thingamajig, entity selector. Now, if we go over here, just take one of these quartz blocks. You can see this is pretty much how I designed it. Well, I did add a few additional buttons on the side just to make it look a little better. And it actually wasn't this wide, I don't think. Okay, maybe it was. Yeah, I think it was. But you can see, yeah, look how good that looks. That actually looks like a laser. So, now this one doesn't work. I can get it to work, though. So, it. let me just explain to you how I can use this. Now, if you don't know how to use distance, I'm probably going to make another video on it soon. And if I haven't yet, and you're watching this just as it came out, we'll just... I'm, I'm going to make one tomorrow, probably. So, first of all, you're going to want to start off by taking this, moving it down, and then adding one to it. This, now of course you don't have to do this, this just makes room for these command blocks. If you don't want to do it this way and you want to do it a different way, you can, but I just wouldn't recommend it. Now actually, we'll start in the middle. We'll do kill addy, or add a. Um, don't turn this on, and I put a bracket just in case. So it'll start in the middle of the command block. So 0 0.5 is going to be right there. Um, 1.5 is going to be right there. So 2.5 is going to be right here. So we're just going to want to do 2 because that will be in the middle. So distance equals 0.2 and there we go. So now you can see if we walk into it. It'll kill us. Now, the other ones I got a little, the numbers a little bit more precise. This one, I just kind of tried it. But you can see, I can hop over. <clears throat> now, it only works in that middle part, right? So what you just want to do is copy the command block or copy its contents. Um, put it all over, then you can, okay, I might have gotten something wrong. Hold up. 
No, I did. Yeah, I did. Okay, let's try decreasing it by one. Um, one. One, and we'll just do two. Hop over it perfectly fine, and we can walk into it perfectly fine, which is not what I want. I think it's better left at two. Actually, 1.5. 1.5. 1.5. Okay. Walk over it, and we can walk into it, which is not what we want. Yeah. Yeah, that'd only be the top of this block, so if you put a slab there, if you stood there, yeah. So it does have to be, actually, 2.5? No. It has to be 2. 2 is the only number that's going to work, I guess. Dang it! This is so hard. It's actually difficult. Oh, and we need to change the other number back, too. So we can just set spawn here. Jump! 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 Ah, darn it! So, yeah. Thank you guys so much for watching this tutorial. You guys are the best. Thank you for liking, sharing my video with your friends, and subscribing. If you haven't done that yet, make sure you do so. Thank you guys so much for watching. And good. It's impossible to do it without sprinting. And you can't sprint backwards. Dang it! Oh my gosh! <laughs> okay, well thank you guys so much for watching. And good. Okay, one more attempt, no sprint. Yeah, it's impossible without sprint. You have to be sprinting. Okay, whatever. Goodbye!